Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to, uh, well, first impressions reaction to episode one of Show by Rock. Um, this is, like I said, a first impressions reaction. Um, for those who are new and don't understand what that means with the channel, it basically means I check out the first episode of a series, determine whether or not I could react to this in series going forward, and, well, choose to whether or not to add it to my schedule for the future. Um, basically, it's a trial for a series. I, I give it a one, usually one, but sometimes more, sometimes two episodes, a uh, trial to kind of check it out, see if it's something I might be interested in reacting to. So Show by Rock. All I know about this is I think it's a music series, and I've seen one character's character design, and I really like it. And that's all I know. <laughs> I don't know what studio puts this out. I don't know, like, any of the VAs that are in this. Not that I know a lot of Japanese VAs, and I don't know if there's a dub for this. Because um, this is an anime, yes. Um, I, again, I assume it's music, based on the title and everything. Um, but I really don't know what to expect going into this at all. Um, the character I've seen, I, I don't know the name. Again, I've only seen the character design, like, out-of-context stuff. Um, has, like, big, like, I believe, floofy pink hair. And it's, like, she's really adorable. And it's just, like, I, I want to know what this series she's from is. It, it's one of those, one of those rare occasions where I want to check out a series literally because of a single character design. <laughs> Um, and, and that's and the funny thing is that's not very common for me at all. It's actually really uncommon for me because character designs mean practically nothing for how a series actually is. Um, and it's you go there, there's certain factors like that that kind of make you want to check out a series and it's like it doesn't actually tell you anything. Because there's been, there's been anime as well that I've wanted to check out just because of the opening. Um, one great example of that would be Ergo Proxy, which I still stand by has a fantastic opening. Um, so I, I wanted to check out the series, and when I did, I did not like it. Like, pretty much at all. I, I honestly did not like it at all. And I, so I stopped watching it. And the same goes with Angel Beats. Phenomenal opening not a good series. And although this one might be a very, very unpopular opinion, I believe the same about Neon Genesis Evangelion. Really great opening. Cannot stand the series. <laughs> um, but it's all subjective, of course. Um, so you just can't, you can't just assume it is the big takeaway. Based on little information like that, you can't just assume. So, I have no idea what to expect with this with this show. Like even the title, "Show by Rock." If this is a music series, like I guess rock music is the only thing you can take from that. I have no information to go off of, so I can't really say anything in my pre thoughts about whether or not I think it'll be good or what I'm going to think about it in general or anything like that. So we're just going to have to give it a check. That was it's a weird way of putting it. We have to give it a watch and check out what it's uh, what it's like. And who knows? I might end up loving it. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, basically, um, I'll determine by the end of this whether or not I want to continue reacting to it or watching it on my own time maybe or just I don't like it. It's pretty much always one of those three options. So let's see. Let's give it a chance and hope for the best. 
So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then it fades back in, everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we're back, and we'll begin with spoilers. Three, two, one, now. Have you ever watched something that, like, legitimately makes you feel really out of breath and, like, really just... It, it's just so much to take in, so much to handle, so... so so much that it's just it just legitimately leaves you breathing really heavily because you just are so overwhelmed by everything i went into this i i, I thought it was going to be this cutesy music room anime i, I thought it was going to be like kaon or something i was not expecting a magical girl isekai with giant cg skeleton monsters and evil music corporations and 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 and, and, and android cat figure things and and a sexy lady with a whip and an egg that has a mustache and talking and I have never been this overwhelmed by anything before, I think. So, I don't think any show or movie or game or anything has like caught me this off guard and just completely obliterated just all sense of anything that I had going through my head. Like, I, I'm not even kidding about the, like, heavy breathing and fast heartbeat and everything right now. It's like, I, I'm legitimately, like, trying to calm down and I, I'm not succeeding. It started off. Fine, cutesy, normal. This girl, this shy girl, cutesy shy girl, just, she wants to join the music club. She thinks it's too late in the year, it'll be weird. She's very nervous, very timid, very anxious. Wants to put in her application though, and all of a sudden she's isekai to a world of CG cat creatures that can like, I guess, change form. She's swept up in a concert and has to witness and eventually take part in this magical girl battle against against a giant CG skeleton monster with subwoofer like stuff all over his body. I don't know. And then there's an evil corporation behind it or something. And and she's joining this this record company with, that's run by an egg with a mustache with three other girls in it, one of whom is exceptionally smitten every time she says meow. And and there's this really, 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 really sexy lady with a with a whip who took the egg into a into a room and started just reeling into him and it's like, oh my god, you're Francesca von Karma from Ace Attorney. And it's really hot. And I'm really losing my shit right now. I, I legitimately don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I don't know what I just w witnessed. I, I don't understand. I don't think I've ever been this confused watching something. 
And it was so fast paced. It, it just kept throwing shit at us over and over and over, nonstop. Like there was no time to rest, no time to take a break, no time to just think and take anything in. And on top of it, like, realizing this girl is, like, I, I've seen the gif of her, like, doing the, like, dance, like, with her eyes closed, uh, the cute, like, kitty smile, and, like, like, rocking her arms and everything, and it's, like, I've seen that, and it's, like, I didn't know it was from this series, but then again, I didn't know what this series was, I didn't know what to expect at all, I had no preconceived notions, because, again, as I said in the pre-thoughts, all I really knew is that I, I believed it was a music series, which I, I guess I was right about. <laughs> sort of. Maybe. I think. Um, and I knew what one of the characters looked like, and I was so thrown off by everything, I actually mistook her for another character. I, I mistook another character for her at first, but then it's like I saw her, the, like, the big floofy pink hair and the, the stars and everything in her hair, and it's like... Can she get back to her, to her world? Does time run the same, or, or, or is her family gonna be like wondering where the fuck she went? There's so many questions. And when the when the phone thing came up, it reminded me of Magical Girl site. That's the it, just instantly the first thing I thought of with the th with the evil creepy program coming up on the phone it's like instantly like, oh this is this is a magical girl thing this is like magical girl sites and it's like i know where that series went that series is absolutely terrifying and i don't know i, I think it madoka magica started the entire thing about the mature more graphic i guess in some ways uh magical girl trend that some shows did but Magical Girl site is upsettingly dark. Um, not in a bad way, just it's really unsettling. Uncomfortable levels of dark. And so it's like I saw that, thinking of Magical Girl site right away, and it's like, where is this going? I, I was not expecting Magical Girl shit. And, and then it's, again, and then it's like the Nendroid CG cat creatures and there's some, some a lot of the audience are pigs and there's these three idol stars who are just like super like pretty boys and everything and they're i, I i'm not 100 percent sure if they understood what was going on themselves when everything happened Like, I feel like you could see the smoke pouring out of my ears right now. Just trying to figure out what the fuck I just watched. Like, I, I've survived through shit like Nichijo. And, uh, oh, what is that other fucking series called? I reacted to it. Pop Team Epic. I've reacted to, or I've seen comedy stuff that is really fucking random and, and ridiculous and out of nowhere. But this is something in an entirely different level. And you know what else it reminds me of? I don't know if anyone else has seen this. But there's this show called Kacho Oji, I believe it's called. Um... Uh, let me make sure I got that right, because I'm I'm so thrown off right now. I'm not even sure if I'm thinking properly. Yes, Kacho OG, also known as Black Heaven. Um, this almost kind of reminds me of that, because that series is about a guy who used to be in a in a hard rock band. Um, more like a metal band, honestly, and he's brought. And him and his band are brought back into, I guess, commission, as you could say it, to fight off aliens that are going to invade the planet using their music as a weapon. And it, it this kind of reminded me of that in, in the bizarrest way. And I'm just like, what? 
How did two shows think to do this idea? Did one of them, like, copy it from the other? I I think Black Heaven, I think Kacho Oji came first. But I honestly, I don't even know. The CG in it looked good. The, the, the 2D animation was very, very pretty. It has great character designs. Again, I've seen that GIF used meme levels of times all over the internet of the, the main character in her kitty girl outfit, like, doing that dance, and it's like, I've seen that everywhere, all the time, and it's like, I do not know at all where that was from, and it's like, and, and then it's just like this, and, and I see her outfit in there, and it's just, it clicks for me, and it's like, oh my god. You're throwing that on top of me? Like, that's being thrown on top of me? Uh, along with everything else? That I'm, for some reason, privileged to witness? Like, it might be the single most just shocking thing I have ever re reacted to on this channel or, or previous channels and, and just it caught again it caught me so off guard in a way that I don't think anything else ever has and saying all of that I want to make it clear that I mean this in the most positive way possible I am 100% hooked into this I not only want to see more, I need to see more. I am as invested as I could possibly be. And yet I have no idea what the fuck I just watched. I, I am I am so thrown off, but I love it. This might be one of the single greatest opening episodes to anything I have ever watched. It is that just perfectly just hooking. I've talked in other series how like the first episodes of a series, their job is to hook you in. Their job is to pull you as a viewer in and make you want to see more. This is, in my opinion, the most successful I have ever seen that implemented in anything. Now, I'm not even saying that this series is going to be like the best series ever or, or whatnot. I, I can't say that at this point. It's like it would be stupid to make a kind of claim like that. But I can definitely say that, again, that was the single best opening episode to anything that I've seen. I, I, I can't think of a single other thing where the opening episode was that just perfectly handled to where it was that just enticing for me to continue. I don't know if this is based off of a source material. I don't know if it's based off of a manga or a light novel or whatever else but and again the way it kind of combines genres it's a music anime but it's also a magical girl anime but it's also an isekai and it's like why why does it need to be all of those i'm genuinely wondering but at the same time i don't really give a flying fuck because it's amazing it's absolutely amazing Like, even my favorite series of all time, One Piece, the first episode of One Piece is not the best episode by any means. It's it, And it's not that amazing to where it hooks you in that strongly. It's a great first episode. It does its job really well, but it's it, it definitely shows how far One Piece has come when you watch more recent episodes compared to that. Um, One Piece is as good as it is because of how far it's come and how much development and depth and 
world building and character that Oda has put into it. The first episode was not that enticing comparatively. The first episode of Owl House, of Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, or Legend of Korra for that matter, of practically anything, again, I have ever seen that I can think of at least, nothing has been as perfectly enticing as this. It's like, I, I was so overwhelmed, but thinking about it, it's basically the equivalent of getting your head run over by a semi-truck full of pure joy. It, it's so overwhelming and painful, but you love every second of it because it's pure joy. It is, it is the, just the most enjoyable, most enrapturing experience and it's like even if i don't end up loving this series even if i even if the series goes in a direction to where i don't like it and end up dropping it 100 percent that first episode is still going to be that amazing it is that well executed in its total insanity and i love every second of it again it just even something as simple as the way the intro was i assume was the opening was integrated into the visuals of the actual episode going on how it perfectly just seamlessly slipped into the intro from the the actual episode and then slipped back out into the actual episode it was so seamless so even beyond just the the pure insanity that followed even just that opening that was a lot more held back and a lot more n normal <laughs> even that was just like something honestly praiseworthy everything in this episode is honestly praiseworthy this was so perfect that i i don't really know how to handle it. it it's it's super obvious as i said that like yeah obviously we're continuing this we're, we're going to be reacting to more of this and i don't think any other episode is going to like surprise me as much as this one did the, the I, I mean i might be biting my tongue on that one soon i don't know because it's like I just I don't see how any other how they could surprise me as hard as this one did because it's just again it was so unexpected that's what was that's that's why I was losing my absolute fucking mind while reacting to this because it was the it was so unexpected it was so sudden so out of left field that it just caught me so off guard and I, I, I lost my mind. The thing is, now I'm going to be kind of expecting that going forward, so it's not going to hit me as hard as it did with this one. It, it Yeah, it's still probably going to... I'm still going to be affected by the insanity and craziness and chaos, but not to the same level. I don't think... I, I, could, I don't think anything will ever replicate that feeling like of watching this first episode for the first time. It, it's like you, you think about going back and wa and wishing you could watch things again for the first time. But then it's like, it, it's like for this, for me, I don't think anything could ever replicate that feeling. It was just so much pure joy and shock and amusement and just, I loved, I loved this so fucking much and I can't even explain entirely why it was that insane but tell me in the comments below am I okay because I don't know what did you think of show by rock first episode first impressions 
Um, I don't know when we're going to continue this, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get back to this as soon as I can. I don't want to like force it in front of certain other things if I can't, if I don't have to. But we'll see. I, I, I think I, I just need to stop this recording and try to calm myself down now because again my heart is still beating pretty fast just uh tell me your thoughts down below thank you so much for tuning in for now i'm connie and i'm signing off see y'all next time i guess